One of my favorite things to talk about with golfers and look at in their swings is ground reaction force. Ground reaction force are one of those things that I think are commonly misunderstood by a lot of those who are looking at golf swings or amateur golfers that are viewing videos online. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what is the ground reaction force, why we care about it in the golf swing, and how we can actually manipulate and train it to make improvements on what we're doing as we swing a golf club. At the most basic level, the ground reaction force is uh, from Newton's third law, which is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In a simple way, the idea is that the action is, I utilize the muscles in my body to push on the ground. As I utilize those muscle, muscles to push on the ground, the ground pushes back on me in that reaction force, and there is our ground reaction force. Now, the ground reaction force is incredibly important in the golf swing because it allows us to manipulate our motion. As we apply force, we can cause changes in the motion of our body. Now, golfers all the time will say, well, if, if ground reaction force is so important, what do I need to do to make it better? How do I manipulate it? And the idea is, if it's coming from that reaction of our muscles, we need to somehow do something to make our muscles interact in a way that allows them to either be stronger, faster, more efficient, generate force at the right locations. And this can come from all sorts of different training effects. Where a lot of my research centers around is how does speed training actually alter the way that these ground reaction forces are utilized in the golf swing. So when someone trains with super speed products, does over speed training, what actually happens is that the ability of their muscles to contract quickly and efficiently improves. And what this leads to is it leads to increases in that ground reaction force. And what we're really looking at is how can they increase that ground reaction force on their lead leg? Most amateur golfers are late to the lead leg. They're not applying force in the correct locations. Uh, and what speed training really does is it helps a golfer unlock these abilities that they already have in their body to utilize these muscles more efficiently, to activate the right uh, motor units, to activate these ones that will contract really quickly. And what that does is allows us to generate force more quickly, more strongly. And what that does is transfers energy out to the golf club and then can really help us increase swing speed. So again, the idea with ground reaction force is reactionary force from our muscles, which means if we want to get better at the ground reaction force, we've got to train our muscles. And at Super Speed Golf, we do a lot of training in order to help our muscles get more efficient and faster to help us hit the ball a little bit longer off the tee.